guys and welcome to my let's play of Super Power 2 I will be playing as the country China it is in the multiplayer world of China of Super Power 2 China is seen as a advanced country due to the low human development level or HDL as referred to online so the first thing I want to do well first thing I'm going to do is China is I'm going to set the tax rate to a lefty 65% this is to generate quick funds for obviously because you're going to be needed to go into debt for a long while and next I'm going to set my expenses obviously to something that will benefit this is actually called Craig's Economic Guide for SP2 if you want to look it up I have like changed some of the things to better benefit and keep the debt down so that's pretty much if you play any country if you have that basically guaranteed to have loads and loads of money incoming within well with China it takes about 12 years but I'm gonna because I'm playing single player I'm gonna change it so it takes about six five six years next thing is I'm gonna prioritize the economy of China this will make it so that I can tax the resources which in long term means more money which means I can spend more money on the people keeps everybody happy the the government management scheme on it is pretty good as well you can earn a lot more money using that if you're willing to put the work in because you can just set it so you export everything but also it reduces your human development level of course in your country which isn't good because the lower the human development level the lower amount of money people have so the lower tax income you get so I'm just going to let that run now for about say about five six months just to let the economy check up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in a little speed cheat because I doubt you want to sit here listen to my beautiful voice for 16 game months so I'm just going to set speed to speed 10 as you can see now the time is going by a lot quicker than usual however this does not like give you any more tax income sort of speak it does have its downsides doing that next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to resource, put resource tax on now that my resources of my country of China have had time to better develop themselves I'm going to set it to 30 because 30 is well gives you a lot of money and that's what the entire game is about earning money taking over the world after we've done this the economy should be pretty sort pretty much minted due to China's large population they earn lots and lots of money when privatized economy is taxed if anyone didn't know what global tax mod is it on servers on the online it is very very frowned against using global tax mod it is actually possible to tax your resources 200 percent so what you do is you set your your sector tax to 100 set your global tax to global tax mod to 100 and then you've got 200 percent tax station on your resources but global tax mod kills your economy very very qu quickly 
which is never good. So, I've got all my set attacks now, set to 30. Should see when it stops. There you go, when it catches up. That has a massive jump. So now that we've uh, done that, we're going to just have a look at the world and see where everyone is. So if anyone watched on my other channel, the game broadcast how to play Super Bowl 2, which I kind of failed at teaching people how to play because I got too caught up in the game, but still that was pretty good that this is diplomatic relations screen. This basically shows you where everything well, where every country thinks of you. As you can see, China is a pretty well liked country other than Taiwan for obvious reasons. In history, everyone likes China. Yeah, Ch Taiwan is actually the, the only place that has negative relations. Even India likes us, and they had a war not so long ago. I think. Oh no. Sorry about that. Thought I had air roughness on full. I always like to have it on full, especially with the first five, ten years, because you see a lot of AI wars which makes it easier for you to take over places so now basically just a game of waiting for things to develop your, your, <coughs> your technology in military area to develop so that you get a better so you get a better army so you can start dominating everywhere but until it happens now that I've just put research up full we're just going to start to slowly build up the armed forces. You don't want to do anything too massive because, uh, of course, as your country develops, it will need a bigger army to defend itself. But bigger army means you have to spend more money on it. So yeah, don't want to kill your economy by having a huge army but as China it don't really matter I've had it where China's been earning 23 24 trillion billion basically that number there's 24 well that number there's 24 so they have the ability to earn a lot of money dice order 2 yeah, I just did. Ah, oh, T85s. There we go. All this debt that I'm accumulating probably won't even affect the Chinese economy in future. It can absolutely get massive. From real life, which I don't know if is anything like. The Chinese economy ever gets like this, we might as well just give, give them our sovereignty now because we'll never be able to compete with it. So, I do not bother at all with. Oh no, I think it's crashed. I know that. I do not bother at all with the navy, the navy is pointless in this, in the original game. If you download the mod, which fixes a heck of a lot of bugs, gets rid of Anna, Anna Turkey. No, not fully sure what that is, but I'm pretty sure it's something to do with our resources. As mine increase, America's will decrease. So I think all, all Uberfox did the maker of the Uberfox mod I think it just made it so that some random nation that didn't actually exist that's not even on the map just imports all the resources it can now we're back to the waiting game once again we've got to wait for the units to build oh, I think I did actually modify this so the units build faster so that's handy yeah I did. I didn't make, if you go in the computer or something, Dreamcaps capture, 
suit mod suit power 2 and then look for a file that says common in one of the military files or something you can make it so your units 10 12,000 units can build in, in a day which is pretty cool but I don't really like it I like to keep it a uh, reasonable well I don't really have it reasonable I'm building like a thousand units in a couple of days which like 31 days to build a thousand infantry vehicles isn't exactly reasonable but compared to what some of the Koreans online have it as it is pretty reasonable some of the Koreans online which basically the Tureda Super Power 2 without being racist or anything but the kind of are, well the North Koreans are, the South Koreans they, they seem to be okay so, oh, well, I was on a serve the other day, I was playing as um, Ukraine and Korean just goes out all of Europe and out comes I think it was like 100,000 land units, 10 million, he was playing as Germany, 10 million troops and I don't think I'd Air Force and Navy and uh, he just invaded me as Ukraine by this point I'd had Poland, Slovakia, Czech, Hungary, Romania but and Belarus, Belarus or however you say it yeah I'm rubbish, I'm from Yorkshire, what do you expect oh yeah I also had all of the UK Slavian states and I had my army fully trained you should have seen his reaction when his 100,000 units got defeated by a 7,000 unit army but if you train your units single player or multiplayer if you train your units to fall you will win unless you're on western server if you're on a western server they always enforce role play which uh, free money which basically means you have to talk about and saying basically role play out what you're about to do just gonna further increase my air force this part I don't want first to get first require a ridiculously large amount of units or uh, really high tech either one costs a lot of money so if anyone ever decides they want to do a mod my suggestion is to make the shift button work in here so I don't have to c control and click on every single one because it takes the mickey how long it takes it to deploy all these un units did I deploy them? I uh, don't know just going to speed the time up to 10 again just to get rid of the training time that there that human development in the mind for when that gets to full that's when the Chinese economy takes off so that's what we are waiting for right now just to increase that there is treaties called human development collaborations I think yeah if you get them with like all of Europe and North America and Japan South Korea and Australia and all, all the most developed places in the world then it does help it increase a bit quicker but to be honest I can't bother with all the treaty spamming you'd have to do to get to have any major effect 
And there we go, we've got a huge army that is trained to the best. So now I'll t put it back to T4 and let's see if I can get some wars going. Don't really want to have to give us in Iraq, so I'm going to see what. See if I can get India and Pakistan going. This is always a beneficial war if you get. Uh, mm, see if I can get. Well, yeah, it's going to have to be America. Hated. So if we can get a new hour of war going. Mm, no one. I am Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Lebanon, Lebanon. Sorry, can't remember how you spell it. Say it. So I am. Um, Turkey, if we get Turkey to join, that should be good. Let's see. Oh, uh, oh, when did I put Bangladesh on? Iran, Iraq. There we go. Uh, Lebanon, Turkey, Syria, and Saudi Arabia. Unite our Emirates. Okay, let's see if America's gone to help out. It's yeah. Oh no, I forgot about Jordan. Ah, oh, poor Jordan. So you now I've got one or two options. I could take America and Israel. Oh, I could take all them. I personally. I feel like America's going to be the better option, get them out of the way, but I am not going to bother, Commander.